Hey guys, so today I'm tackling the uh, fuel lines for the P48 project. Um, setting up our push lock connections and push lock hose and using Oedeker clamps to clamp our fuel lines. So I've got a completed line here. This is our return line. Um, goes from our TBI throttle body back to the tank, which currently I don't have the tank in it, but uh, this is the completed completed line. So these are the Oedeker clamps after it's installed on the end of the push lock hose. And I like to put the clamp right between the two barbs, that way there's no way that hose can come off of there. Uh, before you run your fuel lines, you always want to blow them out. So after you assemble a fuel line, blow it out with your compressed air and then cap it with a piece of tape before you pull your lines through your frame and snag a bunch of grease, dirt, whatever into your fuel system. Uh, so I've got one here that I'm going to assemble for our fuel filter, which is going to go in between the tank and the fuel pump, and it's going to, the pump's going to pull fuel through our fuel filter, uh, as opposed to pushing it. It's a disassembly. You can disassemble it and remove the uh, cartridge filter inside for cleaning. So I've got uh, one piece of hose here. I'm going to cut about a four inch section, five inch section to go between the fuel pump and the filter um, and then uh, put our push lock fittings in there and our Oedeker clamps. Well guys, uh, big step today on the P48 project. I uh, got the fuel lines routed, uh, put the plug wires in place, set the timing, and uh, started it up. So uh, I showed you guys how I made the fuel lines earlier. I uh, ran those down the frame rail and jumped just up into a gas can until I can get the draw straws made up uh, once the new bungs get here and uh, weld those into the tank. So I'm going to uh, do a quick startup for you guys and uh, show it how show you guys how it's running and uh, sounds great, looks great. Um, I've got to spend some time on organizing this the plug wires. Uh, these Excel wires are super long and I, I don't really like uh, <laughs> the length of them. I may end up shortening them all, but uh, anyway, I got them temporarily thrown in place so I could start this thing. And, uh, boy, it sounds, sounds really good. So I'm going to uh, start it up for you guys so you can uh, get a look at it and hear how it sounds. have it uh, just a quick startup um, I do have a check engine light flashing because there's no water in it um, but uh, and also pulled a few new codes like uh, air conditioning compressor code and uh, a timing code because I disconnected the timing plug when I uh, set the timing but uh, yeah starts up sounds great idles great so I'm super super excited we're going to do the exhaust system next so I'm going to start, uh, I'm going to order all the pieces to do the exhaust and start running that. Uh, we've got a rear end that should be going in here uh, this week. And uh, yeah, good progress. Things are, things are moving along right on schedule. And the owner came by today to check it out and listen to it run and see everything. You know, this is a big step in the project. And... Uh, he brought me a little present that we're going to uh, look at right now. The wheels that we're going to be running on here. Nice set of tires came along with them. 
So those are Camaro wheels off of a new style Camaro. Uh, bitchin' looking wheel. I, I think it's probably one of the nicest looking factory wheels that's uh, been put on a vehicle in a long time. So we're going to get those mounted up. I'm going to mock up the suspension and uh, throw the wheels on it so we can see what it looks like with the fender in place at ride height. Uh, I think they're, they're going to look great. So we're going to have to probably do some fitment, might have to do wheel spacers, um, but I need to get the rear axle in place too so we can plan all that and do all that at once if we have to do any drilling or any modifications to the bolt pattern on the uh, rear axle. We want to do that and the front rotors all at the same time. So what I'm doing today is trimming our inner fender wells to clear the upper A-arms and the uh, mounting on the frame rail uh, so that I can get the get the inner fender liner bolted up, it's a steel liner, get that bolted into the body and then bolt the outer fender to it and test fit one of our wheels. Um, unfortunately the wheel hub center is larger or is smaller than the hub on our rotor so I'm not going to be able to fit the wheel 100% but uh, I think I think we'll be able to get get it close enough to uh, get an idea of what it's going to look like. Uh, we got some machining to do. Uh, we're waiting on some parts here before we can um, send all this stuff to the machine shop and get everything actually fitted so that the wheels bolt on to uh, the front uh, suspension and the rear axle that we're going to be putting in here. So uh, I just uh, I'd like to be able to test fit this wheel and get an idea of what it's going to look like um, in the fender so we can kind of judge how our spacing is going to be and whether we're going to need to run spacers or not. I think what we're going to do is turn the rotors to uh, into a 5 on 4 point uh, sorry 5 on 120 millimeter bolt pattern um, since they have to be drilled out anyway for our studs uh, they didn't come pre-drilled to uh, hammer the stud in so we're going to have to drill them anyway uh, we might as well have them done uh, to the proper bolt pattern for the wheel it's one or the other. Either you modify the wheel to fit the rotors or you modify the rotors to fit the wheel. And I think I would like to not alter the wheel at all. So we'd have to turn down the diameter a little bit on our hub. The depth is fine. It fits. Uh, it's going to clear inside the, uh, the wheel center just fine. Um, but the outer diameter needs to be turned down. I'm going to get these trimmed up, get them bolted on, get this mocked into place, and somehow I'm going to mock up... Uh, mock up the wheel on the rotor so that it won't be perfect but it'll be a good idea of where it's going to sit and uh, then we'll then we'll be able to make some decisions as to whether we're going to stick with these 18's or if we're going to go to 20's and what kind of machining and what kind of spacing do we need to do to get everything to look uh, look proper Okay guys, well I got the fender and the fender liner in place. Here's how that looks. I know it's pretty uh, pretty dusty in there, but got the fender liner in place, the wiring's just kind of hanging out. Here's where it was notched to clear the A-arm. And that's going to get a new sheet metal panel to fill that in. So while I uh, put the fender on, the whole point was to test fit our Camaro wheel. So 
So I've got it mocked up at ride height. So we could probably afford to go up a little bit more. I could put some drop spindles on there and tuck them up in maybe another two inches. So there you go guys. Uh, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for me today. Uh, just an easy day today. Just trimmed out those fender wells and uh, got this one bolted up into place. So I'm going to get the wheel back off of there, um, send some pictures to the owner of the truck with my uh, assessment of where we're at, measure up for my spacer, and go from there. So uh, we'll keep making progress here. Tomorrow I'm going to uh, uh, continue working on the fuel system. Hopefully I'll get my bungs in for the draw straws so I can do the draw straws again and get those welded into the tank so I can clean the tank and mount the tank up permanently. Um, got a bunch of little wiring tasks still to do. I can't run any of the chassis wiring yet, um, but I can loom it. I, I just can't run it to its final location until the body works in place, and I can't put the body work in place until I'm done with the suspension stuff because it's just easier that way. Uh, but I am going to order all my body hardware. I'm going to order brand new button head 5 16 stainless uh, cap screws, nuts, washers. So I'm going to order that up today and a bunch of other parts and get that stuff on the way so that uh, we can get this all bolted back together with all matching hardware, proper hardware that's the right size instead of this stuff that's all quarter inch and it's all undersized and uh, sloppy so that we can get all the panels fitted properly and secured and uh, looking, you know, proper gaps and looking the way it's supposed to look. So uh, that's all coming, guys. Uh, if you like this uh, content, you like the videos, please click like and subscribe. 